Okay, let's take a look at the light flicker feature. So here we have a concert scene where we're using optical flares to create sort of a volumetric stage effect. And it's just a pretty cool shot. Now if we come over here to After Effects, I have a similar scene without any of the concert people. I guess they all left. So we'll click on the optical flares layer. Now one solution might be to alt click on the brightness and add a wiggle expression such as, you know, 6, 15, maybe 25. And what this is going to do is change the brightness randomly over time. But the problem is it changes the brightness of all of the lights at the exact same amount. So what are the odds that, you know, these various lights are all doing exactly the same thing? Now if we look at this missile strike scene, there's four lights, but you might figure that the intensity would be random. So with optical flares, instead of using a wiggle expression on the brightness, we have a flicker control. So we can turn the speed up and we can turn the amount up and you can see there's a randomize for multiple flares. And so what that's going to do is give you a random flicker value for each of the individual lights. So it may seem like a pretty simple feature, but if it wasn't there, you know, you might have to go and add an expression into each of the individual lights. And if you want to change it, you'd have to go back and uh, it could be a mess. So the light flicker feature is uh, pretty cool. Great for missiles because uh, missiles kind of flicker. I recommend only using that feature for missiles.